last question we need to do, and that's these guys, the percent volume, which I think are probably the easiest question out of them all. You're looking at percent volume. What do I mean? How much uh, vinegar is found in salad dressing? Okay, that's a percent per volume kind of idea. So I'm gonna skip over the questions we just did, and I'm gonna go right to this question. It's a bleach question, very, very simple. Because if you think about it, the bleach you buy in the store is not 100% concentrated bleach. If you did buy 100% concentrated bleach, your clothes would all be white. That'd be, that's it, right? That's what happens if you use concentrated bleach. Plus, concentrated bleach is very, very dangerous. So what they do is they dilute it before they sell it to a consumer to a safe level, which still cleans your clothes, but isn't as dangerous. See what I mean? Okay, so here we go. Question is, how much bleach should be added to 47 liters of water to make a solution that is 6% bleach? I don't know where to start. Well, if you go back and you'll notice what I had back here, dun, 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 right here, do this as a fraction or a ratio problem. If you do this as a ratio problem, this becomes really simple because look what's going to happen. 6% can be written as a ratio. That's basically 6 out of 100. What does that mean? Out of your total bleach or total solution, okay, out of your total solution, six parts of it is bleach. That's what 6% means. So let's go out and let's write it out properly here. Okay, so 6 out of 100 is bleach. That's your total. Now, think about it. You're adding how much bleach. Your question is, well, how much bleach? What volume of bleach are you adding here? That's what the V stands for. Should be added to 47 liters of water. Now think about it. 47 liters of water plus the volume of bleach makes 100% of the solution. See how it works? It's a simple ratio problem. It's really cool. Now, look at this. You can either multiply each side and make a common denominator by multiplying this by 47 plus V, okay? And multiplying this, of course, by 100. So that means multiplying the top by 100 and multiplying this by 47 plus V, All right? Denominators are the same. Da, 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 gone. This now becomes distributive property. And when you distribute this, you're going to get, oh, check this out. 6 times 47, which is 282, plus 6 times V, which is 6V, equals to, oh, look at this. V times 100, which looks like 100V. Combine like terms, okay, so simple, simple, subtract 6V from both sides, subtract 6V from both sides, that's gone, leaving you 282 equals to 94V. Divide each side by 94, Ugh. divide by 94, divide by 94, and you have V equaling to 3 liters. So guess what? You need three liters of bleach along with the 47 liters of water, which is what you had here, 47 liters of water plus 47 liters of water. So you're really diluting this. And that's going to give you a total solution here of 50 liters of commercial bleach that you will sell to the consumer okay that's how these bleach questions work set them up as a ratio show